Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terra deck guide. And today I am going to be covering the Zoe Draven Hyper Aggro deck, a deck that I used to actually climb through Diamond super effectively. It was a very good way to cheese the ladder for a period of time. Ultimately, this deck might not find a home in any tier list, but it's definitely a very cool concept and a lot of fun if you're looking to play something new within the Cosmic Creations expansion. This is going to be a quick and easy beginner deck guide for anybody who's interested in picking this deck up. I'll cover the basics for you so you can take us to your ladder games and find success. You guys have a fantastic day and do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's go over some of the cards here. Now, originally this deck was inspired by 209-209 and this is pretty much his list altogether. However, I have changed just a few cards and I've chosen not to run a few other cards. Uh, for anybody who's interested, I'll leave a link down in the description to 209's current uh, list, but this is going to be my variant. 95% of the cards will be ultimately the same. Some will be a little bit different, but to go from top to bottom, I just want to talk about the single inclusion of Captain Farron. Ultimately, Captain Farron is just one of those cards that in some matchups, you'll if you just draw it, it can just sometimes be a win condition in one single card. And obviously with such a hyper aggressive strategy, a lot of matchups, you'll kind of find that you are going to lose and you'll know that very quickly. And then sometimes you can just draw Captain Farron to cheese a win within one card. Two copies of Moonlight Affliction. Uh, in 209's list, he is not currently using this. I'm still finding it quite effective, allowing your units that don't have overwhelm to push damage and having a wide enough board to silence your opponent's certain units that might be able to block into yours for favorable trades can make for good uh, finishes. This ultimately, most of the time, wants to be used as a offensive play, but sometimes can find some niche value on the defensive. Silence is a very powerful keyword, and this allows you to silence two of them. Decisive Maneuver is probably the bread and butter of this deck. This is what's ultimately going to end games uh, almost 90% of the time. It's very powerful and very powerful to overwhelm the uh, mechanic and the, the interaction with stunning a unit as you're using an overwhelm unit can be quite obnoxious allowing you to push extra amounts of damage. Crowd Favorite makes a lot of sense to this deck. It's very much a token hyper aggro deck. So you'll have lots of generating, uh, lots of uh, generation of board state early. So crowd favorite makes an ultimately good fit. Uh, Vision, very powerful alongside Draven and just some of the discard synergy in also including uh, Spacey Sketcher. Ultimately, Vision is just a very powerful card for any deck that's in Noxus that looks to go wide and could be a very good burst speed spell here and there. Draven complements this deck pretty well as a very fantastic aggressive tool. Uh, Crescent Guardian uh, becomes a three mana five three, hopefully most of the time with Overwhelm. Makes a very good fit for a deck like this that wants to go aggressive and push uh, damage. I'll be including just a single copy of Super Cool Star Chart in replace of some of uh, 209's original cards, just because I want to be able to like find more early game and have there more of a chance of activating Stary Scamp early. Stary Scamp is a card that will cost two less if you behold a Celestial, essentially making it uh, free to play. And this is kind of what brings the deck together as well. Starry Scamp allows you to. Uh, build board states within the early game that never could have been seen before. It activates just a lot of crazy combos and it's a very fantastic card, especially in this list. This is probably the best list for Stary Scamp at the moment. Ultimately, it's, it is seeing some uh, experimental cut from some other Zoe Invoke decks as it's kind of low value in some matchups. Uh, Pale Cascade is ultimately just a very fantastic card. And if you're in Targon, you're probably playing uh, Pale Cascade. House Spider makes a very good fit as a very fantastic Noxus card. Arena Battlecaster alongside some of your early game board states can be fantastic. Uh, Zoe is the bread and butter of the deck. However, as we are an aggressive deck, this is like a card that you would play on turn one, similar to how you would play uh, Teemo on turn one in some previous burn metas. However, uh, protecting Zoe should be a little bit more uh, considered because it can become a very powerful win condition. But sometimes you'll just be playing your aggressive strategy and you'll just curve out regardless. But if you can, look for those opportunities where you can protect the Zoe, uh, usually through some of the generation of uh, Moonglow. Moonglow will oftentimes be a way of protecting it and sometimes Pearl Cascade. Uh, there'll be some rare case scenarios where you won't play Zoe turn one and I do hope you guys can work that out because it's quite in depth when you have to really break it down but ultimately if you're attacking on odds and you have Zoe just slap it down hope that it sticks 
and push some damage. Spell Thief times three. This is quite a very fantastic card, a cheap spell for activating other combos, especially with Nightfall and Pale Cascade, and can sometimes generate just ridiculous amounts of value from your opponent's deck, depending on what they're playing. You could do a lot of crazy stuff with this, and it's a pretty good card. Uh, sometimes it does brick, but ultimately you'll oftentimes find good value with Spell Thief and Space Sketcher rounds at the deck. Uh, another very powerful reason to be considering playing such an archetype with uh, Draven and Visions, as well as Zoe and Invoking. In early game board states, Space Sketcher can activate a lot of ridiculous early game boards, and it's very powerful in this list in particular. So let's go over the Mulligan Guide. I just want to bring up quickly that I have played almost uh, just, just over 70 games of the deck, maintaining a almost 60% win rate. I think this number could have definitely been improved had I have not misplayed in some games and maybe played some more optimal lines, but still a fantastic overall score and a deck that I had a lot of fun climbing. And as for the Mulligan, uh, from my experience and what I've noticed is that Usually, obviously, you're looking for the curve. I think I've said this in many guides before, but looking for a curve tends to be quite fantastic. So if you see any, uh, you know, certain amount of like one drops going into two drops into a Draven, that oftentimes is usually the hand that you'll be keeping. There's going to be some niche scenarios where Stary Scamp uh, will be not the best keep, even though it's a very powerful tool for activating Celestial uh, Synergy. I found Stereo Scamp to sometimes brick your hand with just kind of less than optimal units because of the fact that you haven't got a Celestial to play. So look to keep Stereo Scamp if you have, for example, Space Sketcher in the opening hand. Maybe you're attacking on odds. You can definitely keep Zoe. Or maybe you have that one super cool star chart. However, super cool star chart is not something I would oftentimes be keeping even if I had a Stereo Scamp. If I had one Stereo Scamp and a super cool star chart and a you know, a bricked out hand for the rest of the hand, I'd probably just full mulligan. More important to find, you know, Spacey Sketcher or House Spider. However, if you have like a super cool star chart as the one-off and maybe two Stereo Scamps, there might be an argument for considering keeping those cards. Hopefully you're fortunate enough to have found a one drop in that early hand as well. Outside of that, uh, Draven tends to be overall a really good keep, especially if you're attacking on odds. You can keep Draven if the rest of your hand is not good. Just make sure to get rid of it. Uh, Zoe will probably 100% of the time be a keep. I can't tell you any reason why you would not consider keeping it. So make sure to keep Zoe. However, if you are offered multiple Zoe's, you would probably get rid of one in hopes to find a better curve. Uh, Pale Cascade can sometimes be a keep. If you have Zoe and Pale Cascade in your hand, I find that if you are uh, not attacking on odds, so if you haven't got the first attack token, coming back into your second turn when you first develop, so you have two mana, you can sometimes keep Zoe and Pale Cascade, and then coming back into your turn, you can develop Zoe, keeping up mana for Pale Cascade in case there are a deck that can interact with it with a one mana ping, such as Go Hard. That can sometimes be a really good early game combo for punishing your opponent, mostly irrelevant against uh, Go Hard. A uh, Spell Thief, I haven't found this oftentimes to ever be a keep, but it's not something that's gonna net you the early value. It's something that you wanna draw into later in the game. So never keep Spell Thief. I haven't found any reason for it so far. Outside of that, um, usually we're not keeping anything too expensive. There might be some arguments, however, I don't, I don't believe it to be true, but if you have a decent curve coming into crowd favorite, uh, you can sometimes consider it. Uh, I've never really had that opening hand that makes enough sense to ever keep crowd favorite, so I doubt you will too. So you can probably just be getting rid of crowd favorite, even if the curve looks really good. Oftentimes you kind of like, you need to be like blowing out your hand every turn and then kind of drawing into crowd favorite when you need it, because a lot of the time your board's gonna get interacted with anyway. And if you haven't got other units to play, crowd favorite becomes a less than optimal card. But sometimes you can slap it down on turn three if you uh, spacey sketch it into moon silver, which makes for some amazing highlights. House Spider, generally a good keep. However, um, I definitely favor House Spider over Spacey Sketcher if we haven't got the Celestial Synergy. But yeah, I think House Spider is in general a very fantastic card to keep. And Battle Cast is like one of those weird cards where it's like you can keep Battle Caster. If you have like Zoe, you know what I mean? If you have like Zoe or Spacey Sketcher into Battlecaster, but more often times than not, you really want your two drop to be House Spider or Spacey Sketcher. 
oh sorry, so not, not Spacey Sketcher, Stary Scamp alongside uh, Celestial Synergy. So oftentimes I don't keep Battlecaster and I don't believe you should either. But you know, if you have like a, a Zoe into a Battlecaster into a Draven, that's a reasonable curve, so you might as well keep it. Especially if you are attacking on the second turn and you're developing Battlecaster onto the play, it makes a little bit more sense at that point. Don't swing with Battlecaster if your opponent can take a really good block into it. Save it for later when you have like overwhelm units, uh, crowd favorite, Draven, more combos, and then go from there. Um, since we have a one-off of Captain Farron and you get paired into a really, really bad matchup, let's say you're versing uh, Trundle Free Old Ramp, you probably might as well keep the Captain Farron. You, you might not, you're probably not winning that game anyway, but maybe keeping the one copy of Captain Farron will help you in that super unfavorable matchup. So you can go ahead and do that and hope that the rest of the hand just fixes itself if the rest of it is bad. AU follows NA, correct. I didn't craft these. These are the ones that you get for free. You crafted a stun spider with coins? Oh no, man. Oh no. Sometimes we do draw the cards we need. Let's get it, crew. In range. How do I, how do I beat scouts? Oh, hopefully he plays Grand Plaza on turn three. That's how I win. Actually, that's how I win. Looking for trouble? It found you. Is Zoe's power revolve around time and space? Ah, uh, yes. I need, um, I need Danger Noodle. I need the Danger Noodle. None of these are a Danger Noodle. the Grand Plaza guys. Hitting Masters is going to be quite tricky. This is going to be quite hard isn't it?
Moonlight Affliction might have been really good this turn. Feels bad, man. I'll defend these forests to the end. I think I have to Equinox here, right? From blood, glory. And he'll just value block everything here. But he can't value block everything here because he does die. No, he doesn't. So I only swing with these units. I can silence the misfortune next turn if that could be a reason why I possibly could die. Okay, maybe I'm not dead yet. Maybe, maybe we're not dead yet. We can, um... Maybe I just immediately silence the misfortune so he can't. Because he's gonna summon units here, right? Oh my god, I can't actually play Spell Thief because he hasn't played any spells yet. So I have to use visions here. And just pray that he hasn't got the uh just pray that he hasn't got the um the spell right there's a spell Hold true actually you're right i don't need a i don't need a knife all out today so i could have just played that i could have just played that right my mistake we'll see if that cost me the game it might cost me the game Playing visions there was kind of bad when I could have used it on the elusive Let's units. Say. This stinks of Ranger's Resolve, doesn't it? dude i think playing visions this turn was definitely a throw i wasn't paying attention to these new cards that's okay all right so how do we win now So eight, we're doing 16 points of damage and overwhelm. Well, you won't be my friend? I'll come over there right now, binge you over and suck a fart out your butthole. No.
It's probably just Captain Farron, right? I think he would need to... There's like some lines where he like multiple sharp sights and maybe stays alive. So 16 minus five. What's 16 minus five? Not, uh, nine. It's not impossible for him to survive here. I don't think Captain Farron's the line. Yeah, looks like the repost one's gonna work out. <laughs> Unless he still has sharp sight, but I think if he had sharp sight, he probably would have blocked Zoe, right? No, actually, it doesn't mean he would block Zoe necessarily. Oh, he's still not even dead. What did I, how did I mess this up? Yeah, maybe Captain Farron was just correct. We already like through this game sort of anyway with that Moonfall play, the Nightfall play. Bro, mass is hard. Then I was probably supposed to clear Misfortune. <laughs> right? Now, repost re only gives you plus three attack. Look, maybe he opened attacks, guys. I still have the super cool star chart. Maybe we're not dead yet. Oh, we desperately need Equinox. We need we need to stun this board right now. <sighs> still dead to any um. Still dead to any other rally effects, so. Oh, did the the the, the, oh, the HP buff? If his last card's uh, Relentless Pursuit, he wins. That makes me feel like he doesn't have Relentless Pursuit. Which means... We may have just won. What's the correct line here? It's just Farron, right? I don't think it matters which one it is. I guess double sharp sight. Yeah, I, I would lose to double sharp sight. 
but I don't, I don't think Farron loses to anything. In Dua. Right, Drew in your promos. What's up, Floor? Right, do be trolling me at the moment. It'd also be, be, be giving me some pretty funny hands. I've had some very below average opening hands. I think we want to play Crescent Guardian so we can get that guaranteed 5 damage next turn. I don't think we'll be developing. Nothing to develop. 6, uh, yeah, 5 damage. Seems pretty good. This game's gonna come down to the wire, I think. Yeah, it's gonna come down to the wire. Time for the main event. Gotta get out of here. I'm gonna block with anything that's not Obviously these myths mist wraith can get bigger, right? It's fine. Hopefully no Vile Feast. Okay, no Vile Feast. Fantastic. Maybe we can kill him this turn. That doesn't change anything. Yeah. Quick games. We back in it. The dream lives on. I did have fun doing the the lab that's like the single player lab. It's like you players you players either Diana or Leona, that was pretty cool. Just because it was easy.
Oh, like higher. Okay. Not like higher, more like higher. Okay, I see what you're saying. Sometimes we do be high rolling turn one. We're investing Orb Meister. Fantastic. Good pass for us, I think. So what's that turn? Wait, wait. If he's playing a similar deck to mine, what kind of hand would he have to have that would not allow him to play anything turn two? He probably has Draven. That would make some sense. Okay. It's Draven time. He must definitely have Draven. If no Draven, then a very bad hand. Shampo. Okay, so he's playing 209's list legit. I can't protect the Zoe, but that's okay. Let's see if we can find a um, cheap unit to play here. Moon Silver doesn't change anything. I will take the Serpent. He does have a kind of bad hand, doesn't he? So I'm going to punish his bad hand by going super, super aggressive here. So I ultimately decided not to use Shampo just because of the play styles. I can actually yoink his one too. Oh, he has the rally effect too, right, Zoe, of course. So hopefully with the super cool star Charlie yoinked, he will find the challenger unit. Crowd favorite's pretty nice here. Joker. So he'll attack. I don't think he can. He can play Spacey Sketcher. Spacey Sketcher can actually get him out of a lot of trouble here. No Spacey Sketcher. I don't mind that he's reducing the cost of his super cool star chart. All I care about is dealing lots of damage. And I'm going to actually ignore the Zoe and try and push more damage. Or is that too greedy? Nah, let's just do the smart play. I would ignore. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right, Enamor. He's gonna block anyway, right? Time for the money makers. Oh. Whirling death with end axe is interesting, but what if he also has one? You know what I mean? What if he also has double Draven? I think the smarter play is to actually let this attack go through and then I can actually spell thief and steal possibly his Shampo. The Draven sticking on the field is just like meh. You know what I mean? It's like... I don't mind. What's my name? Maybe he'll try and smoke me with the Draven next turn. You can lethal him this turn with that play. That's true. But 
It's also risky. I completely get dominated by, um... I completely get dominated by... What's the card called? Whirling Death. Okay, now I'm in a bit of trouble. You know... It's all in hindsight, isn't it, guys? Inside. Faith brings us together. Going down to one is fine. I'm also gonna force him to use the spinning axe. Now we're cooking. So now I can will in death. Nice one. I can spell thief for survival, yes. I think I just won the game though. He also dis- Actually no, I can't take the survival skills, do you know why? He discarded it. I'm not sure if that counts as a play. True story. Wait, where's uh, let me find survival skills. It probably counts as a play effect, right? I'll see if I can find it now. I'll do it for science. Oh, I don't see it here. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, though. Yeah, I think we just hardcore one off that turn. Yeah, he discarded another survival skills, by the way, but it, 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 it hit crowd favorite. <laughs> it hit crowd favorite. Uh, push maximum damage. Yeah, I'm not running survival skills or shampo at the moment. Official TV, Merry Christmas. Honestly, for a moment there, I was a little bit concerned that because I didn't go for the 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 win last turn, I might have threw the game. But I didn't expect him to have such a crazy hand next turn. But we were still able to beat that hand. So ultimately, I still think I took the safe play. Because I did have the answers to every, almost everything he had next turn. Every time it takes a while to load, they surrender right away, so I think they freeze. Whenever it's an instant surrender, it's usually because of a DC, so they don't lose LP. And you don't get any. Sup, Cup. Sup, Cup, where are you? Are you here? You lurking? You lurking, bro? To serve the greater good. Riven, Swain, Noxus, and Shadow Isles. Now that is an interesting deck. Time for the main event. That is an interesting deck.
Seems like a potentially good turn for him to play Riven. I do be wanting to attack though. has been trying Riven with a lot of regions trying to make it work. We've got some committed fanboys here. We got ganked up in this Riven hype. We got Cup up in this Riven hype. These hands no metal and magic. Homies do be out here trying to make it work. Full respects to them. We do be blocking. We do be probably losing Zobby here. If he Vile Feasts, hmm, maybe I'll pass. I do be thinking I want to go more aggressive. Yeet the Blade of Exile, Pog. Fantastic idea. I wonder if Cup plays Withering Whale in this deck. Cup is probably playing uh, Glimpse Beyond, right? Cup, what are you playing, son? Man, if they add Zoe to the game, they should add a card that reads Chemotherapy. Or is it just me, I guess? Might just be you. Nimasa, some man. I hope he's not playing Withering Whale. I've seen Riven and Swain work, but with P and Z is pretty much as and Swain. Why did I use the axes there? The axes was a mistake. I made a mistake using the axes. Whoopsie. Now oh, let's force more resources out of him. Oh, fair enough. Someone get him up! Merry Christmas, dude. Happy holidays. So guys, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to look for the Moon Silver and play Captain Farron super early this game. We'll keep up the pressure up until then, and then we'll inevitably play the super cool. And you lose both Ravens, that's fine. At this point, I've got other plans in mind. I've got other plans in mind, guys. I'm thinking he doesn't play Withering Whale, that's what I'm thinking. I was hoping to find Moon Silver there. Nemesis redeemed hydrate. I haven't got my water's there. I see it. I sense their power, but conflict awaits. Wait, I block here, right? I do block here. 
It'll be the same outcome next turn. Yeah. I think it's fine to block here. Not enough damage, guys. Everything's going to be elusive, which is really good. So the open attack looked pretty juicy with their Moonlight Affliction, but I realized I can make my entire board elusive and that's also very strong. Okay, so how much damage is this? This is lethal. GG. GG cup. Nearly there. Nearly there, guys. We need to catch up the faint today. Fucking avalanche. Okay. <laughs> I can win this. I can win this. That was so stupid to tell me. Ah, uh, dude, I was. Oh, dude, I keep. Uh, I keep getting bad hands against this matchup. How do you account to that? How uh, you can't. That was just one of those, like, situations where. Bring in the heat. On ladder, you can't play around it. You can't really play around these kind of things. Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. If he passes all in the turn. I don't think he can pass here. He's just thinking about playing Grand Plaza or not, I guess. My shield is yours. Damn it. At least he hasn't got Senna. Gave up Riven for now and started playing the solution deck. Has some funny lethal combos. Good choice, dude. Good choice. I'm gonna open attack here, right?
Is there ever a world where I develop? No. There is not. We just put him down to seven. The smartest player you can make is put Lucian into crowd favorite. He's gonna do some sort of combo with Lucian, right? And I might have to silence it. Don't worry about me. Wait, he just plays okay, he plays center. Okay. Okay. What if I stun you? Stunning the Hecarim here is actually kind of nuts. I could also silence it, but stunning here is safe play. Omega safe play, right? Now, hopefully he has no cheap spells to play here. Doesn't appear to be the case. I think you have to swing with Lucian here too, right? Okay, I think we win now, right? I like silence over stun, to be honest. Nah, I like stun over silence. Because it... Uh, I like stun. Uh, but to be honest, I'm gonna... I'm gonna silence, like... I think... Either or. We can, we can come... We can talk about it later, man. We can... We can go... We can go in detail about it. I also like making them not be able to block though this turn. Less than optimal. I think you played it kind of weird too, right? I feel like you played Grand Plaza on like turn four after attacking, but like you open attacked and then played it and then yeah, like he didn't even play the Grand Plaza. I think it was like on the right side of his hand. So he had it sitting in his hand for a while. Each of them. Oh. How do I navigate this one? I guess I get rid of Spell Thief. Have an early Draven? Remember when Make It Rain was two mana? Those were the days. Those were the days. I don't think it's ever correct for me to swing with these guys unless I want to play around Misfortune. That might be a fine play, actually. Cool. Play around Misfortune, probably just correct. The thing is though, he gets his extra plunder effect for his GP. 
That's why I like immediately jumped on the maybe it's not correct kind of line. But if it is just misfortune this turn. Going wide here. Draven's fine. It's Draven time. I'd be surprised if he attacks this turn. I would yeah, be surprised if he attacks. Okay. I think TF Swain might be meta again. I can get behind that. Yo, you're finally, you finally made it. Light Dragon 4201. It's about time, my man. It is about time. Am I just going to swing in him with Zoe and just trade off? No. I'm going to conserve... What are you waiting Conserve for? my Zoe. Say your farewells, you poor thing. He do be thinking, I'm not gonna block. I'm five head. And I do be thinking, what if I just smork you? Now we're cooking. Hydrates, yes. There's been a few hydrates tonight. Alright. We're all out of water. We're gonna need a top up. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. We just drew Whirling Death as he conceded too. He wouldn't have been too impressed to see that.